I think we're done at five. Five is fine, we'll stop there. Grant also uh, said once that uh, the whole, whole touring thing was like a job. You had to sh sleep on the floor in New York and then uh, just yeah. a little van. No. Now you're touring the bus, is it already a bit better? Yeah, it's, it's getting better, yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, at the same time, we feel like we've earned it, you know, it's it's taken a long time for it to come to us and uh, and now that it has, you know, every minute of that bus we fully appreciate, you know, being able to have our own bed, you know, and uh, which whereas before it was genuinely, you know, we're in, in one tour in America about a year and a half ago, we were playing pretty big shows that usually bands would have tour bus hotels and we were still, still staying on people's floors from time to time, which was kind of ridiculous, but... Uh, you know, we're on a we're on a small label who doesn't have a lot of money, and we don't have a lot of money, so it's just the way it goes from time to time. So, I, I don't know. I, I think I think the hard route makes you appreciate everything a lot more. Yeah, it's also a bit because you're uh, an indie band, maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no there's not there's not there's not a big pot of money uh, sitting there waiting for us to just yeah. draw withdraw from, uh, and and still that's the case. You know, we're the. There's less money in the industry than there used to be anyway, so I think uh, it just comes that you just have to adjust and accept the, the way things are now. It's not the same as it was even five years ago. There's just not the same amount of money. Yeah. And it's fine though, it's fine. I mean, it's still, it's still fun. I, I, I wouldn't complain too much. But are you still are you content that you're in an indie band? Because I read that you want to be a pop band. Uh, what? And you're on your blog, you want to be a rapper now? <laughs> Oh yeah, rapper. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's coming. That's definitely coming. I've got this. I'm still working on that. But uh, yeah, I think, I think I've, there's there's two ways, I guess, of interpreting the, the statement about pop music is that I I want to write music that is memorable and and is catchy and has hooks in the same way that pop most pop music does. Um, you know, I like a big chorus. It, that satisfies me, and I like putting that into my own music. And um, wherever that takes me is fine. I don't really have any ambition to play in huge stadiums or anything, and that's not going to happen for us. But I, you know, I like music that that has that, you know, catchy, anthemic, sing-along aspect to it, and that's that's what I like, the way I like to write. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, you already mentioned uh, your uh, growing up with your brother, mm -hmm. might always have been uh, the greatest. But what, what <laughs> he's, fine. he's all right. He's now, totally all right. He's not that bad. <laughs> what, what was it like in? Uh, in so I, I watched Selkirk on a Google Earth, and it looked like a really small town where. Yeah. Maybe even everybody knew each other. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It? Oh yeah, yeah. No secrets in Selkirk. Oh, actually, hundreds of secrets in Selkirk, <laughs> but <laughs> but everyone knows about them. Um, yeah, it's, it was a strange place. You know, when we were starting off being in bands and stuff as well, it was um, it's the type of place where can't really get away with playing original material, you have to play covers, so we were playing like, oh, the Stone Roses, and oh, Stone Roses was alright, that was the better end of it, and then Oasis and stuff like that, it was, it was pretty terrible uh, to think about it, but you know, it was... It's, Why was it terrible, because you didn't like the music, or the way you did it? Uh, uh, probably, now you're looking back, a bit of both, I don't, <laughs> I'm not really much of an Oasis fan anymore, but... Um, yeah, you kind of had to because it's all that people wanted to listen to and it was difficult to break out into something different, you know, mm. coming from a place like that. Uh, so when we got to Glasgow, I was like, just discovered a whole new set of rules and ways of doing things that were just so different from Selkirk. So it was really, it's the kind of place you either leave when you're 18 or you stay forever. <laughs> so I left when I was 18 and I don't think I'll go back. There was to go to art school in Glasgow. Is that what you yeah, mean? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Studied in, in the art school in Glasgow four years. And then when uh, when was your first musical uh, outing? Well, I was uh, there was I was staying in uh, in the halls of residence with uh, you know there was there was an American guy in my um, same you know block if you like and uh, and he was going to open mic nights and he eventually he kept on coming by and saying trying to convince me to go down and play at the open mic night in a tiny a wee bar down the road called Nice and Sleazy's and uh, and it would um, it took him about six or seven weeks before I finally accepted and then we, we sang a couple of songs together and then I started getting a, I kind of enjoyed it you know because I was a shy person I didn't really enjoy you know being the center of attention or putting myself in that place but then I found I enjoyed it so it was an open mic night you know Again, playing covers, but good covers this time around. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, then I sort of started writing songs. And but what, what did you? Uh, why did you suddenly not mind doing that? Either though you. Uh, I just had never. I just never tried being a singer before. 
I'd always been the guitar player in all the bands that I was in back home in Selkirk, so I'd never actually been, I was able to hide behind that, you know, it wasn't this, the, the, what everyone was watching at all. So um, to sing was, uh, was just something that I was just afraid of. I, 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 didn't know, I didn't know whether I'd like it or not. And then when I did it, I was like, it was fine and fun and yeah, it was good. Now, Mary, what, what was the first time that you actually uh, sung in, the, in front of an audience? Yeah, it would be in one of those, I, I sang that song, It's a Motherfucker by the Eels. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I sang that uh, down at Nice and Sleazy. It's probably about, uh, probably in about, about 10 years ago now, actually. Yeah, that was the first time I'd sort of ever attempted anything like that. That's really a small uh, emotional song. Uh, yeah, you know, it was the one that appealed to me. It was nice. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's, it started me off on a, on a path of small emotional songs. 